Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh. Jazakum Allah khair for, for this opportunity. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless uh, National Dawah Academy. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make it, make it uh, a way for people to uh, educate themselves uh, to how to be, to, to take on this responsibility of delivering the, the beautiful message of Islam. Um, as the prior speakers have, have said, is any, we technically have a responsibility uh, in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first. First, uh, and and to do ourselves a favor and live up to the to the level of of uh, what Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam wants us to be at, and as Allah subhanahu wa taala said, you know, وَمَنْ أَحْسَنُ مَنْ دَعَى إِلَى اللَّهِ وَعَمِلَ الصَّالِحَةَ وَقَالَ إِنَّنِي مِنَ الْمُسْلِمِينَ that you know who who is better than speech than the person who is um, who is calling to people to Islam and saying that I'm a Muslim. And Allah subhanahu wa taala said, إِدْعُوا إِلَى سَبِيلِ رَبِّكَ بِالْحِكْمَةِ وَالْمَوْعِدَةِ الْحَسَنَةِ and call in the name of your Lord. With wisdom and good speech, and that's what the whole important aspect that we want we want to learn with fiqh dawa. Uh, fiqh dawa it, it tells us the rulings uh, of how to appropriately you know, deliver Islam. And the, the whole purpose of this course is to train students effectively to call into Islam in the modern era. And the course highlights some of the most common errors and how uh, of the people how do they go about calling Islam. Uh, among Muslims and to the to, to the other faiths, and provide students with understanding and the principles of, of objective of da'wah, um, and uh, and make sure that we are following the the, the rituals of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The whole, yeah, alhamdulillah, Rabbil alameen. When the National Da'wah Academy started, the yeah, Fiqh Da'wah was one of the initial courses, and alhamdulillah, Rabbil alameen, the turnout was extremely was extremely uh, uh, heartwarming. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil alameen. Uh, yeah, there is you know close to seventy students rolled in, and alhamdulillah, Rabbil alameen, most of them finished the course yeah, by, by the by, by the by the of Allah subhanahu wa taala. And anyway, alhamdulillah, Rabbil alameen, most of them have really fe felt that they uh, gained so much knowledge. And they, they felt that they're much more equipped uh, once they go out there to to to, to for them to give da'wah. Well, some of the things, yani, yani, my dear respect brothers and sisters, we're going to be talking about yani, here here in fiqh da'wah, we're trying to uh, establish the basics that that uh, unfortunately not just a, a da'i must must equip themselves with, but even imams in, in the in 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 in, uh, in the western. Hemisphere that they need to make sure that they equip themselves with. Yeah, some of the topics that we're going to be addressing. What is the definition of da'wah? What is the characteristics of Islamic da'wah? Um, what are the methods uh, of da'wah? The basics, the basics of Islamic da'wah. What are the pillars of da'wah? Yes, da'wah have pillars, and that, that that a Muslim have to make sure that they are aware of what that we don't give da'wah willy nilly. There is, there is pillars that we have to know in order for us to give da'wah. What are the level of change? Yeah, for instance, if you if you want if you want to change uh, an, an individual from and we want to take his hand from one step to another, there are levels. We don't we don't shove the message in people's throats uh, uh, regardless of their background, regardless of their education, regardless of what you know where they came from. There are level of change that we have to make sure that we establish. Uh, we talk about also the characteristics of the da'i because when when you are a da when you are uh, uh, giving da'wah. A day I have to live to live up to a certain characteristics um, that you must have in order for for you to be called appropriately a day. Um, also, some other things that we're going to be talking about. This is some, something important. Is the any as Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, "Idru ila sabir Rabbika bil hikma." Call on the name of your Lord with wisdom. And so, you know, so what is considered to be wisdom here? So we're going to be talking about what is wisdom. What is the wisdom in in, in Based on the Islamic perspective, the, and the wisdom and hikmah have also pillars that we're going to, be, inshallah, bi Taala, talk about. So, in, so in order for us to, you know, to, to, to uh, so Allah Subhanahu wa Taala bless us with this wisdom, we have to, we have to make sure uh, uh, that that we follow certain principles. There are certain pillars, and and, and as Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, "Wa al hikmah faqad utiya fadlan kabira." That whoever Allah Subhanahu wa Taala bless him with. With wisdom, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and have really have given him a lot of a lot of, a lot of bounty. So, so, so it's important, my dear respect brothers and sisters, for us to equip ourselves with wisdom. Um, and also, there is you know when someone gives dawah, my dear respect brothers and sisters, we have to make sure that we follow the graduality. You know what 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 is considered to be gradual. How how do we 
you know, again, take people from one step, one step to another. We want to, the point of, the whole point of that was not for us to say what we got and then we leave. The whole point of that was for us to change people, take, you know, make sure that we move them up, make sure that, yeah, and anyone, anyone, uh, and this is part of the, the, the problem that many Muslims that were there is, fa is facing. They say, you know, I'll just come, I'm going to advise this individual and run away. I mean, as if like they have uplifted this, you know, this uh, burden of of of, of uh, uh, advice and they and 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 this is all that they can. No, the the whole purpose of us to 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 advise to 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 do change is for us to, for people to change, and 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 that's the ultimate inshallah goal. Also, that you know, Islam, you know, one of the things that Islam teaches us, my dear respect brothers and sisters, how could we make it make their life easy? So one of the things that we're going to be talking about how Islam tried to promote easiness, not difficulty. And last thing, one of the things that we get, we're going to be talking about is what are the priorities of Dawah? What are the priorities of Dawah? So th this is some of the things, my dear respect for the sisters, yani, that yani, we must have. And, and again, it's, it's uh, yani Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, فَعْلَمْ أَنَّهُ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهُ وَاسْتَغْفِرْ لِذَنْبِكَ وَلِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَالْمُؤْمِنَاتِ Wallahu Yalam Mutakalakum So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he said, No, that there is there is there is there is no God except for him. And after that, what he said was for Lidambi. and unfortunately, many Muslims have, have this priority upside down. They say, Well, let me pray more, let me let me uh, fast more. Let, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks us to seek knowledge, and then after that we worship him, you know, after Thank that we make istighfar. So this is one of the things that we 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 Taala we're trying to do with National Dawah Academy is for us to gain more Islamic knowledge. It's for for us to follow the, the footstep of Allah of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Bidden Allah Taala. And as Allah subhanahu wa taala said, "Yarfa Allah al-ladina amanu minkum al-ladina utu al-ilm darajat." Yeah, Allah subhanahu wa taala he he elevate us. He elevate us. Uh, you know, and elevate the people who seek knowledge. And this is one of the things, Bidden Allah Taala, that we try to do. Uh, with National Dawah Academies for, for them to gain knowledge and for them to elevate to, to, to elevate uh, them with Allah Ta'ala. Thank you very much. Allahu Akbar.